I've been playing with MCP integration into AI coding IDEs for the past few days. It has totally changed my workflow and boost my productivity. So my cursor not only generate codes, but also calling text to image model to generate all the gaming assets that is needed for developing the game that you're seeing here. And not only that, when there are bugs, my cursor also look into console log and network requests to debug the error. It can even read my Superbase database directly and doing internet search, looking to my Figma file. All of those thanks to the MCP server function. So today I will take you through what is MCP, how can you integrate existing MCPs that other people already created, as well as the easiest way to set up your own MCP server in just a few minutes. For people who are watching this video, you probably more or less heard about MCP, which is a modal context protocol introduced by Entropic last year. It basically provides a universal interface for people to connect their agent to all sorts of different data source and external systems. You can think of MCP like a USB-C port for all sorts of different AI applications, just like USB-C provides standardized ways to connect your device to all sorts of different accessories. MCP provides standardized ways to connect AI model to different data source and external systems. What's really interesting is AI coding has evolved a lot for the past few months, from initially just a chat copilot to a composer that can create files, to nowadays all the modern AI ID like Cursor and Windows Server all build powerful agents that can do some plannings and take a lot of different types of actions. At default, Cursor coding agents will have a list of actions that it can take, but what if you wanted to do more? That's where the MCP comes in. You can build all sorts of different custom integrations so that cursor can access almost whatever you want. They really change the game for AI codings. MCP can be used for many different scenarios. For example, some of MCP server might be just prompts where the agent can just call certain MCP like analyze code and it will return a proper user message with specific prompt that can guide the agent's behavior for next actions. But on the other side, MCP can also be used to connect to different external resources as well as assistance to calling different API endpoints. But when you look at Entropic's MCP doc, it is fairly complicated and not exactly clear how can you install and create your own MCP very easily. That's why today I want to take you through some of my favorite MCP as well as the easiest way to build your own MCP that can connect your cursor into any source of system you want. So without further ado, let's get it. There are a few marketplaces already existed that show you a list of MCP that other people have created that you can use from Glama.ai, Smithery, Cursor.directory, as well as LM systems where they have hosted MCP server that you can use. And the way you can use those platform is that you can search for the MCP that you want to use. For example, if I want to add a sequential thinking MCP, which is the type of MCP that will force agent to think through a few different steps and do some plannings. I can choose the AI ID that I'm using, in this case a recursor, and I can just copy this command line over, go to my cursor, select feature, and in the MCP server, I can click on add MCP. I can give a name and the name here didn't really matter. I can just call it sequential thinking. And there are two different types you can choose. In most cases for now, you'll probably choose command, which means it will run a local command to call this server. But if you're using some host MCP server, then you can choose SSE. But most of time it is almost always command so we can add this and click add the button you will see that this is a new mcp server added called sequential thinking and this is one tool called sequential thinking so what i can do is that we can start a new chat with agent and just give it a prompt i want to build a game now let's plan it using sequential thinking don't generate any code yet and then you will be prompted to call this mcp server and for this specific tool, if you open it, you can see that it is basically trying to use function call to force agent generate multiple different sorts. It is counting how many sorts that it needs to do in total, and the next sort needed will be true, which means if I finish this, it will try to continue doing another sort. We repeat this process for probably eight times. If you want, you can also turn on this YOLO mode, which means you don't need to approve every single time, but I would suggest you to do the manual one first. But to make something more interesting, you can also search for a red MCP. And one thing to know is that currently there's no standardized way to install or set up MCPs. Each MCP is kind of set up differently. And the quality of MCPs on those websites are also quite unstable. Many of them don't really work at all. And this makes adoption a lot harder. But I'll show you a few examples of common ways to install those MCPs. Basically, I want to find a command line to use. Sometimes they will provide NPX package directly, which you can copy and start using. But quite often you will have problem that it didn't really work. For example, if I copy this one and add a MCP server, Reddit, MCP. You might see that this MCP has no tool available, which means you can't do anything with it. But you might also say JSON like this. And for this one, you basically need to convert them into a single line command, which in this case will be the UVX from git link here, MCP Reddit. And you can separate them out with space. So I can copy this and add a new server, uh, call it Reddit command and paste in. You can see that this has been added with two tools, fetch Reddit hot threads and fetch Reddit post content. And we can give it a try. 
what are some latest hot content on Reddit. It will try to call this MCP to fetch Reddit hot threads. And if I click accept, you can see it return some of the content from Reddit. So this is basically how you can use those existing platform to find MCP that you might be able to use. But one really annoying thing of using other people's MCP at the moment is that even though there are MCP directories, Many of those MCPs didn't actually work, or it is very complicated to set up with incomplete documents. I spent quite a lot of time testing different MCPs and filtered down a list of MCPs that is both useful and usable. I will share this list in the AI Builder Club community and building, and I will continue sharing new interesting MCP I found. So if you're interested, you can click on the link below to join my community. But what I want to show you is a few MCP that I personally use a lot that really boost my productivity. And the first MCP I want to introduce is Browser Tools. This MCP that give your cursor access to your browser console log and network tabs directly so that they can run your app debugging much easier and also allow you to communicate with cursor about specific element that you want to change on the UI. Firstly, you will need to clone their Chrome plugin. So you can either run the command line get clone or you can use GitHub desktop app and clone this specific repo. And once it's done, you can click on the settings in your Chrome extension and click on load unpacked. Then choose Chrome extension folder from that browser to MCP folder. You should see the browser to MCP show up here. And next we want to add MCP server to cursor. You can click on settings, feature, MCP server, and just give a name browser tools and the type will choose command. Here we need to copy this and paste in. You can see it has a list of tools from get console logs, console arrow, network arrow, screenshots, as well as select element. And the last step is that we want to run the browser to MCP server. So you can just open terminal in any directory, do npx at agent desk slash browser to server. And then this server is running. Now, if you go to any web page and open inspector, you can see at top there you have bar called browser to MCP is debugging the browser, which means you can actually go to cursor in agent mode. Just ask what's in my console log and it will run this get console log tool. It will be able to see all the console logs you have and also check if there's any errors in the console. Log. Apart from reading the console and network logs, it also has cool features like get select elements which means you can go to your web browser, right click inspect. So in here we select this specific element. And then I can give prompt update only the style of the element I choose in the browser right now to something fancier that looks like a real poker card. Then it will run this function called guess that element and return a specific diff. And from there it identify it is car component and update that specific component. And this is kind of fairly simple example, but you can imagine for more complex applications, this will allow you to communicate with cursor much easier. And one of the coolest things that MCP allow you to do is connect to any other service to enhance your cursor workflow. For example, what if cursor can call text to image model to generate all sorts of gaming assets like the background image. And this is where you can create custom MCP server to connect any sort of service. And here you can see I actually create my own MCP server with one of the function called generate image. So what I will do is I will take a screenshot of how the game looks like right now. Help me generate different images of dogs for cars instead of emoji and click submit. And then it will call this function to generate an image and it return one and it will try to generate a few more. All right, so it generates a few different images. So we have this new game called Puppy Memory Game. And if you click on each one of them, you can see that they are unique images that are generated by the AI model. And all those images are actually coordinated by cursor itself, which is absolutely amazing. And even though setting up MCP server does sounds like a lot of work when you look at MCP doc, but it's actually not that complicated. And you can use Cloudflare where they provide a worker MCP that basically give you the boilerplate of the MCP server. You just need to build the function yourself. And I'm going to quickly show you how you can do that. So I'm going to create a new folder with command line npm create Cloudflare at latest. So this one will set up a Cloudflare project. I will just name it my MCP. And the example I will choose Hello World and Hello World Worker. And language I will choose TypeScript. And do we want to use Git for the version? Of course we want. And do we want to deploy? For this one, I'm going to choose no, but if you want, you can also deploy it to use on other server or even share with others later. Cool. The next step is our CD my MCP, which is a folder name and then do NPM. So you can just paste this in. If you restart cloud, you should be able to see a little toy icon show up here where it include all the functions that we have defined in those example files. But if you want to activate this MCP for cursor, what you will do is that you will put the command of this one, space this one, and this one. And putting that together for my specific example, uh, I will just put this command line into cursor's MCP. So I can add a new MCP and my MCP, type will be command and paste that in. 
add. You can see this tool has been added successfully. And here is one tool called Say Hello. If you open your MCP folder and select index.ts, this, as we mentioned before, is where you're going to store all the functions. So here you can see this one function called Say Hello. So the thing above is how we communicate when to use this tool, the inputs and expand output format. And here we have one function of Say Hello. So what we can do is that we can open cursor or just say, say hello for workers MCP server for me. And now you can see it tried to call this tool called say hello and it return this result, which is what you define here. This is a very basic MCP function, but you can imagine now you can write whatever function you want, connect to external API service or even run local models directly. And this is exactly how I write MCP to call the image generation model host on replicate. I can just choose the API service. I can just copy the code example, open cursor, paste in and give prompt, help me write a new function that will generate image using AI model host on replicate. Don't use any environment variable, just put variable inside index.ts directly. Uh, so this is not best practice, but because cursor MCP, unfortunately didn't allow you to set up uh, environment variable very easily. So we have to set the environment variable inside the file directly. And I will also give some additional prompt uh, the replicate API return a prediction object that needs to be pulled for completion, not an immediate result and making sure pass the result properly. So this is just some like, common mistake I saw large language model often make with replicate API out of box. Okay, I'll click accept. And at top, we need to put the API key here. And here you can see that it generates a new function with description generate image using request v3 model and with two input param, prompt and size, and return the URL of general image. Once it's finished, I will do npm run deploy. This will deploy again. And just for testing purpose, I will use cloud to just quickly test it. So I will close the cloud and open cloud again. Just quickly check the general image is here. So I will say, help me generate an image of doc val AI. Allow for this chat. And I got an arrow saying fail to start image generation. The specific version didn't exist. I think it is using the wrong URL for some reason. So I'm just going to copy this in again. Make sure you use the right URL and right inputs just like above code example. Okay, once it's finished, we can do npm run deploy to deploy the latest version. And I'm going to restart cloud to say, help me generate a dog image. Well, the reason I use cloud is because I don't want to keep restart my cursor. It's just a bit easier, but you don't have to. You can also just test in cursor directly. Okay, so you can see that it returned this message of the image URL generated. If I open that link, it will show me this image generation. So this is how you can connect any sorts of functionalities and external system to your cursor. I'm really excited to see what kind of things you're going to come up with. And the most annoying thing about MCP now is that many of them just kind of don't work out of box. It's almost easier to build your own. So I spent quite a few time to like test different MCP server, choose the ones that I use a lot. And I'm putting the AI Builder Club I'm building. So if you're interested, you can click on the link below to join the community where I will be maintaining a list of high quality MCP that I found ex extremely useful for AI coding, as well as some custom ones that I developed myself. You can click the link in the description below to join my community. I hope you enjoy this content. If you enjoy it, please comment below. I will post more in-depth tutorial about MCPs in AI coding. Thank you, and i see you next time.